Alright folks, so this morning we're going to clean the tubes out on our uh, Empire Elite 100. What I did when I installed mine, I uh, put a pocket door, sealed it off, insulated all around of it, and you can see there's the access panel in the back. I leave my screws loose so I can just grab the access panel, pick it up, and remove it. Gives me access inside to the uh, tube area and you can see I'll zoom in on that panel that's where the uh, tubes are now my stove is at the end of a cycle this is usually when I clean mine you don't have to do it that way and I did shut my fan off you don't have to do that you just want to be in the load position so that the tubes uh, are not trying to have uh, exhaust gases going through so you take the handle, you open this, you remove the panel pretty quick and easy. Uh, there's the tubes that we're going to clean. This is an Elite 100. Uh, so there's eight tubes in there. And you can see there's a fair amount of uh, potash. Now what I tend to do, I did mine at the tail end of a cycle. So all this stuff is pretty cool. And what I usually do is take a shop vac and I'll suck that out and I've got a scraper and I'll scrape this area down and get any of the debris out of there. I like to vacuum it out before I clean the tubes that way I'm not pushing all that stuff down through the tubes. Alright, in just case anybody's interested, I've got uh, a nice stainless steel shop vac. I make sure that there's nothing inside of it before I use it, just in case there's a hot amber there. Uh, I, I've been doing this for a while, so I kind of know when I can do it and when I can't do it. Now I'm going to move in a little bit and just show you an example. Uh, you take the brush, this has the outer sleeve over it, so you can, and I usually start at my upper tubes, I put it in the tube, and I usually work it all the way down, you can hear it when it hits on the door, and then you hold the white part, you pull it back, now you can see I got a fair amount of stuff up through it, and then I work this unit back and forth as I go down through the tubes, I want them as clean as possible because this is what gives me the efficiency in my unit. Alright, so that's the process. I do leave the ash door closed so that I'm not putting all that dust out into my shop space. So we'll pick it back up on the other side. Uh, I'll show you what comes out the front. 